All right. This is, this is a little bit sad and a little bit scary, and I'm a little bit embarrassed. <laughs> so we got it, but someone put it in the garage. Oh. So we, it, I have to tell you now, it's all over my bed, so don't be no upset. Worries. As long as you got it, that's all I care about because a lot of our ladies don't know, but Cher is a true girly girl. She loves makeup. She loves hair care products. So Cher, we are thrilled tonight that you're with us with your brand new launch of your Decades Fragrance. And when you think about it, you were a fashion icon from the moment we all laid eyes on you in Sunny and Cher. And you have reinvented yourself decade after decade. So starting off here, we've got the 60s Eau de Parfum that we're including. We have the 70s Eau de Parfum. We have the 80s Eau de Parfum and the 90s Eau de Parfum. So the 60s is a romantic floral, sensual amber patchouli. The 70s has a cardamom and a beautiful matte tea, a little bit of suede and velvety musk. Then we go into the 80s, which is a floral bouquet with gardenia and orange blossom. And then the 90s, last but not least, one more page I gotta turn over here. The 90s is jasmine, samovac, and vanilla. So again, all of these for $59. And I know you won the Fifi Award, which is kind of like the Oscar for fragrance. And so today you're bringing out the new collection with something you've been working so hard on. So we're so thrilled to have you. Thank you. Okay, so do you wanna start? Because I feel like I'm talking too much already, Cher. I'm sorry. Got a little nervous. No, no. No, you always do it. Whenever we do it like this, you always do it. Oh, I oh my gosh. Which one do I love? No, you always think, no, you always think that you've talked too much and we're just getting into our, we're just getting into our role, okay? Like, oh. I mean, like we're, we're in a role. So we're, we're all, I'm all, almost in it. Oh, I love it. All right, let's start off with the 60s, Cher. And let's start off with, oh my gosh, they're all so good. You can blend them together. Let's start off with the 60s. What was your favorite part of the 60s? Oh, my favorite part. Well, my favorite part wasn't exactly my favorite part, but I really loved, it was the first time I got a chance to sing. And um, I did it for a year for $25. And Sonny said I should have been playing, paying the um, producer. And then we started, we had friends, these two girls, these two crazy girls, and we started making our own clothes. And Sonny bought a, you know, industrial sewing machine. And, and so we started making our own clothes and that was like, that was heaven. You know, that was heaven because I didn't want to buy anything at any place, you know. I wanted to do bell bottoms. We did elephant bells. And, you know, I wanted to have... I wanted to have all this stuff that said, I'm breaking fit through, I'm breaking out, I'm, you know, I'm throwing off my chains and, you know, and it, and it sounds easy, but we almost got beaten up a bunch of times. Sunny actually did because people are so afraid of something new that um, they just want to beat it out, you know, right. they, they want you to just disappear. Yeah, you can't think out of the box. But You've got it to conform great. to us. But yeah. I have to tell you something. It was great because a lot of people were coming up. You know, a lot of people were breaking the mold. And so I think that the 60s perfume is about feeling things with, with scent that you hadn't found. That you, If you were looking for something, you, you couldn't find it. So I wanted to make the scent available so that people would kind of get a look back and see what it felt like to be in the 60s. Oh, I love that. And you know what? It is very reminiscent. You're right. It's There's something familiar with it, but yet something so new. So I, the, the 60s, again, I love how you put that together. You made your own clothes. This is kind of like the revel in all of us with the 60s here. So remember, it's a one, point, uh, one ounce, and this is normally $30. So I do want to point out, that's the 60s. That's where we're starting off over here. It's a romantic floral. There's a violet, a rose, but it dries down with an amber patchouli. So that's the 60s. It's intoxicating eau de parfum. But wait, Amy? Yes, ma'am. Amy, I want to say something. Okay. I, I never have liked, I'm not a flower kind of girl, you know? And so I thought I have to work extra hard to make this something special and something that I might like because I never was drawn to kind of the floral sense. But I think I did a really good job. Yes, you did. Yes, you did. Because I like the dry down of the sandalwood and patchouli. Because you're right, you get the, kind of the burst of that little velvet rose, but then it kind of dries down and you get the patchouli sandalwood. It's beautiful. So that's the 60s. So Cher was making her own clothes. This is when she came out when we were all like, wait a minute, 
Who is this woman with Sonny and Cher? Look at the clothes. I mean, the 60s were such an amazing time. Now we move into the 70s. So the 70s, again, a little bit more of a hippie era, but the 70s you've done here with the tea, saffron suede, a velvety musk, the cardamom. Ooh, that's beautiful. So to me, this has a, a little bit more uplifting. This one's a little bit more sparkling, I, I feel like. Oh my gosh, but I love the suede in this. So it's very, it's very mysterious. Oh, that's good. Well, the 70s were sparkling, you know? I mean, I was sparkling on TV with Bob Mackey clothes, and, and so I wanted something sparkling. Oh. I wanted, you know what? I want women to go out of their house and just have a kick in their step. Oh, I love that. And you're right, this will give you a kick. This kind of makes you feel like you, you want to dance. There's some energy to this, this. It's a little uplifting. So there you can see the notes inside of that. So that's our 70s with the cardamom, that tea, that beautiful saffron, the suede, and then it dries down to a musk. It's very sensual, but very energizing. Then we move into the 80s. So the 80s is the one you're seeing right here. This has a little bit of gardenia, orange blossom, the tonka bean, the cashmere, I have to say, I love the 80s. Oh my, I think that might be my favorite. And there you are, of course, in the very famous Bob Mackie, that beautiful headpiece that you wore. I bet you felt like a million bucks that night. I did, Oof. I really did. And I had the idea and then Bob made it real. You know, I was a little bit pissed off because I had thought I did a really good job being an actress that year. And um, the Academy, I guess, didn't think I dressed like, an, an actress. <laughs> so I thought, okay, well, let's just see how far I can go. And that was what I came up with. I loved it. And Bob it. Well, was like, Jared, you think this is okay? Do you think this is okay? And I went, yeah, what the hell? Why not? Why, I, hey, if you got the body to rock it, I mean, would you have had the body to right. rock? Trust me, he's an amazing designer, but you had the body that carried it out. Let me tell you that. I mean, everybody, when we saw that, everybody was like, oh, but it was just, it was so, you were so ahead of your time with dressing and style. So there, there's our 80s. And then last but not least, the 90s that we have for everybody, which is that beautiful Jasmine Sandback, a warm woody vanilla. It is absolutely gorgeous. I love mixing the 80s and the 90s together. If you can tell, I'm still lost in the 90s with my hair. Um, ooh, that's good. Ooh, I love the 90s. But you know what, Believe, Believe was in the 90s. And, and it was a big, it, it was a change in my life. And it was, it was, a, it was a hopeful time, and women were kind of getting their due, not quickly enough for me, but um, it, was a, it was like kind of like a, a more positive, pushing through to a more positive area where women could have jobs that they deserved and get paid that they deserved. Not the pay so much, but they got a chance to get in a toe in, and then you get a toe in and you can't get us out. That's right, that's all it took. It took one toe and we've never looked back. It's true, the 90s were really, it was a fun time. It was, women were reinventing ourselves. I think we were becoming more sexy. I think we were becoming a little more, hey, free with the way we dress. If I want big hair, yeah. I'm gonna have big hair the way I want big hair. So I, I think that it was very well, liberating. Yeah. I, I was so terrified that my friend Paulette and I, and I've said it before, but we were terrified because it seemed like at a certain age, you had to cut your hair off. And I was like, well, what are we gonna do? Where will we go that we can have our hair, you know? And and it, it was a very, I think it was kind of a stifling time for women it, back in the day, you know, like when Sonny and I started and when we got into the into Sonny and Cher, because we kind of were trying to help people not feel self-conscious, but feel empowered with being able to, you know, step out and, you know, do what you wanna do and, and don't, you know, it's like, don't take a back seat, just push your way to the front. And and I think that it might have started. I mean, we've got a long place to go. Right, right. No, I, I have to think about all the times that as, as I would watch you come out, and especially like when you think about the Met. When we go back to when you first came to the Met, celebrities weren't going to the Met Ball. They weren't going to the gala. They, you were the first to kind of come through and break that. Now every celebrity wants to go to that, you know? A man came up and said, how does it feel to be naked? And I said, it feels great to me. <laughs> 
Well, see, he was, he was just jealous he didn't have that body you have. Because let me tell well, you, every one of the designs that Bob designed for you, I mean, you just killed the look. Everything came together, but, but it was the way that you carried yourself which made the look happen. Yes, the dress was gorgeous, but it was the way that it looked on you and the way that you walked into the room and the confidence that you had coming into the room that made every woman think, my gosh, I, I can do that. I can be that confident. So you really did empower women through the decades. And that's what I love about this four piece decade set is that each decade you empowered us a little bit differently, whether it was through music, whether it was through your movies, whether it was through, you know, you and Sonny. I mean, there was always something a little different going on in your life. And I felt like you took us on that journey. And it's, it's just remarkable how you tied notes in to every decade, how you were able to sum up a decade with the fragrance. I, I, I can't imagine a more beautiful way to express yourself. All right, I'm gonna tell you a story. I don't think I've ever told this before. Uh oh But when we did, when we did Believe, um, there was two verses and both the verses were how, like this woman was like pining away and whatever and like whatever. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna only, this woman is only gonna pine in one verse, all right? That's it, the rest of it, we're gonna choose something else. And I had my toe stuck in the, in the um, faucet, you know, in the bathtub, and, and I said, I've had time to think it through and maybe I'm too good for, the, for you. And I went, that's what I wanna say, that's what I wanna say, you know? I wanna end it with, get out of here, I don't need you. See? Take you yourself know, to the curb. Do you know how many women that has become their theme song? Like, I, I, hey, I don't need you. I'm too good. You're putting me through too much. I think so many women related to that, specifically that verse, and, and, and to know that that was something that you thought of as remarkable, because you always think, oh, somebody else came out with that. But to sit there and have that moment, and I know exactly when you sang that song, when that one line came up, I think every woman was like, oh, I am too good for you. I, I deserve better. So it, again, yeah. just tying it back to all the fragrance, how you took all of us as women on a journey through song, through your fashion, uh, just through your life, you know, and through your marriages. I think it's, it's quite remarkable and, and, and to still look this beautiful and stunning that you have over the decades. It's, you just inspire all of us. And I love that you put this collection together. And we just adore you, Cher, from the first time I saw your concert, I was mesmerized at the costume changes and the way you moved and, and, and how elegant you looked. It just, it, was, it just blew my mind. As many concerts I've seen, I've never seen a concert like yours. And I know so many of our Gigi's, our glam guys and glam gals, we call them here at HSN, they've been mesmerized by you over the decades and how you reinvent yourself. And every time you changed or your looks changed, we were all in awe of you. So again, oh, there you go, turn back time. I, I mean, we were all just, uh, oh, there it is, look at that, oh my gosh. What was your favorite, I hate to say song to sing, but what was your favorite look? Like if there was, out of all the fashion that you wore, what was the one look you were like, you know what? That was it, I was well, the bomb. I can't, okay, I can't, I, I can't, it's like between Turn Back Time, the headdress one that I wore, the big black headdress, and the 70s picture. Those are my, like when I think back on my life, you know, I had a lot of beautiful gowns and everything, but somehow those define me. And I don't know if it's in a good way or a bad way, but <laughs> they just define me. You know, um, Bob in one of the in in the um, in the um, in the video for Turn Back Time, Bob said, "I don't want you to tell anybody I did this. Okay, oh. I just don't want anyone to know." I did this. Really? But I've told everybody. I, yeah. <laughs> he said it's too small, Cher. It's too small. You finally, you finally broken the the barrier. And, no. And, and I thought, oh, it is kind of too small, but you might have the same thing on in a bathing suit. Right. Or maybe if you were in Paris. Oh, I remember when it came out. Yeah, in MTV. Wasn't there like a lot of they were going to ban it and then they were going to play it and it was like. No, they ban they played it, they played it, and then they had to ban it, and then they played it <laughs> after nine o'clock. And it was like oh, that's they, were, right. they were torturing themselves. That's right. It was after nine o'clock. Then you could watch it. Now everybody was just like, oh, yeah. "Is that a butterfly on her tushy?" It was <gasps> a great video. It was a great fun video, making fun of myself and making fun of all the, you know, all the craziness. And and those guys, those sailors, were so sweet. Oh. They kept calling me ma'am. And, but they were like so into it. They were having such a great time and being able to be carefree and they were all really young guys and 
And I, I had a blast on that. I, I don't think it was making fun of yourself. Every woman was like, oh, look at her body. I, I, there were, I, I, every woman who saw that, every man who saw that was just in awe of you. And, and still to this day, we're all in awe and you're such an incredible woman and you're a champion of women and you make all of us feel good about ourselves. No matter what we wanna wear, no matter what we're feeling, we've all been with you on this journey. So whether it's the 60s, the 70s relate to, the 80s, the 90s, we all can relate to Cher. And today you're getting her immaculate collection that she has for us, her decade collection, where it's an ounce of each one of these decades from the 60s, from the 70s, from the 80s and the 90s, you're getting a little bit of Cher. You're getting a little bit of her beauty. You're getting a little bit of her fashion sense. So today it's only $11 and change. And when we think about Cher from the time in the 60s, watching her with Sunny and Cher, to the way she came out in all of her movies, to all the awards that she has won, how she's always pushed the envelope with style, how she's made us look at ourselves and say, I can do that. I feel like I can change my life. Yeah, I am good enough for you, or I'm too good for you, right? That's what you're bringing to us. Yeah. And so please Please know, Cher, I, I, I'm sure I can speak for all the women around the world. You've empowered us. You've changed us. I, I've never been the same since I saw your concert. And so many of our girls said the same thing when we watched you in concert. And it just, you, you re-energize us. Because I think sometimes we just kind of are like, oh, I'm a mom. I'm doing this. We're just kind of going through the motions. And I love with your fragrance, you make us stop. Just stop and take that moment and think, hey, you know what? I'm going to smile. I'm going to push through this. Hey, you know, there's just so much more to me than just what I'm doing right this moment. So I thank you for that. Yeah. So many you know what sometimes you have to do? You have to put your head down and you have to just walk. I mean, you have to plow through it and it doesn't feel good. And you might be frightened. You might be scared. And, and, and I've done that. I've done things that I was terrified of. And, but there was no other place for me to go. Like, I'd hit a wall and then back up. I always thought of myself as a bumper car. Back up, make a left, and just go, you know, just yeah. go all the way. And, and, and you'd be surprised what happens when you go for your dream instead of settling for, you know, whatever. Whatever yeah. it is that you're not feeling completely, you know, joyful about, then you, you have to kind of try to find something, you know, and perfume is not the answer, but, you know, but you have to find something within yourself that um, helps you feel alive, helps you feel like a young girl, you know? Oh. And someone said, how do you tell, how do you tell someone that they're wearing too much perfume? And I said, send them back in the elevator and watch everyone run out. And that's when you're wearing too much. <laughs> I was gonna say, how do you unwind? Like at the end of the day, how do you just kind of unwind? What's, what's your, your way to kind of unwind and, and get ready for bed? And what, what's your ritual, I guess is what I'm asking. Well, I don't really have a ritual because it depends if I'm on the road. That's a kind of a different thing. But I like to take a bath and I like to talk to my mom and I like to talk to my sister and, you know, just find out what they need if I need to do something you know, or talk to my friends, hang with my friends, have them come over, I have a theater in my house, so we'll go down and watch, you know, TV and make popcorn and fabulous stuff like that. I mean, I can have more fun with my friends than I can doing anything else. I've done everything twice, you know? <laughs> went, there, went there, bought a poster, sold a poster, and um, so I've just, I've just kind of done it. But like in Paris, I had the best time, and we were going out every night, every day, so that was exciting. Oh, wait, so recently you were in Paris? Was this recent? Yeah, it was for the um, fashion oh, week. Oh, that's right, that's I right. I did a whole week. thing with Belmont. Oh, how fun. So every night you were out? Yeah, I mean, we were going to, we were going to, you know, fashion shows and Emile Meister, who's like one of my favorites, and Rick Owen. And, and, and the, the Bellman was just the most exciting. It was so much fun running out. We were supposed to just walk out on the runway and I didn't realize when I got out on the runway, it was like thousands of people, it was a, a football stadium. So, and then that made me kind of more excited and so then we just ran down the runway and then we ran back and we were hugging and kissing and it was just, it was, we got, we got beside ourselves, you know? We got right. pushed into that place that you get when you feel 
fabulous and you're just running but your feet aren't hitting the ground. Oh, how I, I can't, I can only imagine what that is. I haven't had that emotion yet. <laughs> I know what you mean though when you get excited and you're kind of like in the moment. It just, it's a lot to take in and, but that, that's amazing. That's Think yeah. about love. Think about your first thought of love when you see somebody. It's kind of like that. Okay. Now I know exactly. Okay. So I can only imagine again, seeing a thousand plus people. I have like three in front of me now. Oh, no. There are 10,000. There oh are 10,000 people. Oh my God. How fun though. What was, um, so when you, you just got back then recently. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So see, it doesn't stop. It doesn't it, it stop. It was great too. Like it was great. I don't go to fashion week very often. And it was just great to see everybody and see all the beautiful models and, you know, and the, the interest, not just the clothes, the way they're presented, it, it, it's, it's just, a, it's like a spell. Oh, how neat. That's a beautiful way of putting it. Like, almost like a spell because you do, you, you fall in love with the fashion, fall in love with the feeling, the upbeat right. people. It's yeah. Like I can, oh, I can only imagine. Uh, being there for Fashion Week must be incredible. And, and today, again, we're bringing you fashion. We're bringing you fashion and fragrance. Because I have to ask you, Cher, when you wear your fragrance or when you design your fragrance, what's the first thing in mind when you think of a fragrance? Like, is it, okay, is it something you personally wear, your favorites that you would wear and how you design a fragrance? Or is it just particular notes that you like? No, I mean, we're working with so many notes and there are, and, and, and trying to put them together. So I, that's not my expertise. I know what I like and I know what I think goes well, but sometimes I'm completely wrong because sometimes you have all these things and they all smell nice and nothing happens. Then you <laughs> put something in that smells really bad and it just brings that everything to life. So um, I had to learn that early. But um, I think of like, what I was thinking of Madras bedspreads and, and and incense when I was doing the 60s. That's like, I thought if I can bring this feeling and this scent and I can put it into these things that I know, that I knew then, you know, mm -hmm. then that's what I tried to do. The one flavor I don't really know, but I made a special eff effort was, like I said, the, um, the floral, because mm -hmm. I just was, I never thought of myself as a floral girl, but then there are some, that there are some florals that I like, that, you know, I love, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah. Gardein and, and, you know, Pikaki. And, I mean, there's there's some that I just am, like, heady over, you know? And you're right. just like, oh, God, take, take me now. <laughs> no, there are some. You're right. Because when you think about florals, I think most people think of that old-fashioned rose, with, which is not what you have yes. here. It, it, that, it's something right. completely different. It's more of a white right. floral. This, of is, the, this is not your mother's floral. No, no, perfectly put. No, this is not your mother's floral. It's more exotic floral. So when I think of this more jasmine, which is more of a night-blooming jasmine, you also have the gardenia, which makes it crisp and clean and a little effervescent. So we'll go through again, here because it's four that we're receiving here today. And I love the way that it's boxed. It says decade collection on here. So starting off over here, with the 60s. This is what we call her romantic floral. So again, it's a sensual floral. So you do have notes of gardenia in there, grounded in amber and patchouli. So don't forget, that's the 60s. Next to that is the 70s with the cardamom and mat, the, the beautiful tea, little saffron and suede, but a velvety musk. Then we move into the 80s. This is where you get the gardenia, the orange blossom, the tonka bean. The 90s is where, where we move into more of the peach nectar, vanilla, a little bit of the jazz and sandback and then that beautiful vanilla bourbon so again each one is a little different yet they all can play very well together sure i love the 90s and the 80s together um you, so you can spray both of them you can wear one separately if you want to but they don't smell like anything else i've ever smelled i i think it's because we spent a lot of money on just the ingredients and you get what you pay for and so i think that because we we really were going, we really wanted to not just make money, you have to make people happy first, you know? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and that's what has to happen if you don't make people happy, if you don't make them have a feeling. If it doesn't give them a feeling, then what are you doing it for? Right, right. I have to ask, what was your, what's your favorite era? Was it the 60s, the 70s? When was your favorite era? The 90s, now? What, what, what's your favorite era? 
Not now. Um, Not now. <laughs> I think, well, the 60s were definitely great. Can I just tell you something? The 60s, okay. 70s, and 80s, I was rocking and I was having a good time. 60s, 70s, and 80s, yeah. So all three of those. Oh my gosh, yes, you were. I mean, when you think about your career and everything that you were doing, and it was, and even when you were on Sunny and Cher, that was all the time. I mean, that was constant. And were you making your yeah. clothes then, or was Bob Mackie designing? No, no, Bob. Oh, we did everything, all uh, everything after the 60s, everything, well, I think I met Bob in 1972, and, and or somewhere in those 70s, and um, then he did everything. I had met him once on Carol Burnett. We were doing a, sh a little spot on Carol Burnett, and so we were part of it. You know, we were doing a big opera on her show. And so that's the first time I saw Bob, and then he made this little outfit for me, and I just said, Sonny, if I ever got a show like that, I would have him to design everything. So then we got our show, but we couldn't afford anything. So we had one dress and he just designed, he just put different things on it, you know? And so it got me through the six shows. No and then, way. and then I had him, you know? And then people complained about the cost and this, that, and the other. But then when women started coming in, looking at, at what was going on, and we got more women watching. They said, you know, yeah, you can spare money on the clothes. Oh, women would just turn it, tune in just to see your outfit. What were you coming out wearing? They were, they were just tuning in to see the outfits. Wow, I mean, because they were so amazing and the way that you would look and whether it was, you know, the Indian, I mean, it, there was just so many different looks that you had coming out that were iconic and women were just, I mean, I mean think about all the trends that you set back then. I remember I, even my mom talking about the, the headdress that you had on, the Indian one that you wore, and right. it, there was just so much that went into fashion. Little did we know back then, you were changing the world of fashion just through your show. Yeah, well, it was such a great opportunity, and also it was like setting Bob free. You know, he didn't worry about, you know, he didn't worry about censors. I mean, we had to have some conversations with them, but mostly, because I was married, it was like, oh, she's not going to be able to, you know, she, don't pay any attention to her, you know. Right. She's locked up. So, um, and and but it was it was it was good, you know. But I was like, I'm fighting all the time, but in a in a kind of a quiet way, you know. Right. And the only way I could really express myself, well, I mean, singing, I really had fun with that, and and my clothes. Oh. Was there ever a time, and then I'm so, I'll stop asking the question, sorry. I need to focus more on this stuff. Was there ever a time like you'd come in an outfit and suddenly be like, well, that's a little too much? Oh, he stopped that. <laughs> he stopped that. Um, he stopped that when we, we knew that my costumes were bringing in viewers. Mm-hmm. He's like, okay, never mind. You can wear whatever you want to wear. You can well, and, yeah, and, and also it, it um, if I wore some costume and it looked really good and we got, you know, a, a lot of mail, then we would just take it with us on the road, you know, and, and I would wear that. And he made us some, he made me some beautiful things that went really well on the road because it was shocking. Really? And did you ever feel uncomfortable putting them on or you thought, whatever, I've got this great body, I feel great? Well, I had a little tiny body, you know, and so, like, I remember doing a thing with Raquel Welch, and um, she was endowed, you know, oh, yeah. as we all know, and I was, like, under-endowed. <laughs> and, but she was pissed off at me because, I don't know, I don't remember what it was for, but I knew she wasn't happy. And, um, but then it, it worked. The two of us together worked, you know, it was like, Ollie and Hardy, Oliver and Hardy. Yep. Sam Laurel and Oliver Hardy. But you know, it was it was fun. I just want to have fun. I just want to have fun when I work. And and also, you know, that's an, another thing. I think that perfume is fun. You know, you don't need it, but you want it, and and it becomes an important part of your life. I really do. You can kind of tell what a woman's going through by what she's wearing. Oh, that's true. That's very true. They often say, you know, a woman's ready for change when she cuts her hair, right? Or a woman's ready for change, yeah. right? When, when she does something drastic to her look. So think about this, you're right. The, the perfect finishing touch to your outfit that complements you is your fragrance. Because a lot of times people won't say anything to you, but they'll be like, oh, wow, she smells incredible. Wow. 
You know, it just immediately people think differently of you when you smell good, especially when I think about your collection here, because every day you might have a little different mood. Let's say in, in the 60s here, this mood's a little bit more, um, I'm daring. I want to try something new. This one has that patchouli. It's a little bit more muskier. And then we go here into the 70s. The 70s is bursting with energy. It's energetic. You've got that suede, so it's even a little mysterious. Then we go into the 80s here. This is where you get more of that gardenia, but it's not over really floral. It's a very clean gardenia. You've got the orange blossom and the tonka bean. Then we move into the 90s. The 90s is very upbeat as well. This one has the peach nectar, sandalwood, the vanilla bourbon. So again, each one is different, but they play well together. So whatever decade was your favorite, you're getting the entire collection today. It's all free shipping and handling. And today you get it for $11 and change. You're not finding this anywhere. Don't forget, Share won a Fifi Award. That is the best of the best award you can receive for a fragrance. And I know, Cher, I'm sure when you set out, that wasn't probably your goal. Oh, hey, I'm gonna win an award. You just wanted to make a beautiful perfume. Oh, I had no idea, but I didn't even know about the Fifis, to tell you the truth. And, um, and I wasn't really, I didn't think about it, so I didn't know it was a possibility. And then someone said, do you know you won the Fifi? And I went, Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, the Fifi, all right. Oh, oh, the Fifi, oh yes. But um, no, I didn't know I was gonna win it, but I was pretty excited about it. You know, it, your first time out to win an award and they thought it was beautiful. And I thought it was beautiful too. I still wear it. I have three in my, in my closet so that I just can grab a, any one of them. And I spray it when I get up in the morning and I spray it when I come up from the gym and after I take my shower, I spray it. Share couture, their couture fragrance. The original, yeah. It's so beautiful. Again, every one of these is beautiful. I do want to stress, we have available for everyone. If you're traveling, because it's the holiday season, and there are 53 shopping days left until Christmas, individually boxed, you will receive here, and they're $14. I just want to point this out. I think it's